Um, hello, so today we are going to do this problem called satisfiability of equality equations, which is part of today's lead code daily challenge. So the problem says um, we have uh, an array of strings, and those are equations that represent relationships between variables, right? Um, and so each slot or each position has four uh, is of length of four, a string, and that string can be either xi equal to yi or xi different than yi, right? And these two are considered to be lowercase English letters um, that represent a variable, okay? Um, and we, what we want to do is return true if it's possible to do an assignment between the two integers represented by the two variables x and y. Otherwise, we return false. So let's take a look at an example to understand why we may not have true here or we may have false. Um, so, for example, here, a equal to b, b different than a, that's contradictory, right? There is no value you can assign to a and b, so that they are equal and at the same time different, so false. Um, and here, b equal to a, a equal to b, you can choose any number, for example, 1, and that would be true, both would be true, and so we return true. And so you get the idea here, it's, it's false if there is a contradiction, if um, those that are equal we have one, uh, some equation or a, s a set of equations that tell us that they are different, right? So there would be a contradiction there. Um, yeah, so now let's see how we can solve it. Um, okay, so how can we solve this? So, um, as I said, the only, pass the only way for it to not be true, for it to be false, is if we have a contradiction. Um, so, for example, A equal to B or A different than B, this is a contradiction, it means we return false. But it d doesn't always have to be this direct, right? It doesn't always have to be this. Um, let me give an example here. So maybe we can have, let's say, A equal to B, uh, B equal to C, and C equal to D. But then we have, let's say, A different than D, right? So by the transitive um, like uh, rule here with this, um, this means that a equal to b, b equal to c, c equal to d means that a equal to d. But we said that a is different than d, so we have a contradiction. So you can see it may be like a, a different path. Let's take another example even more. Um, so let's say we have um, maybe still the same thing. Let's say a equal to b, uh, b equal to c, c equal to d. But maybe let's say we have a different than e. And then um, E different than D, right? So it's not that direct as the previous one. And here, still the same problem, right? Because A equal to B, B equal to C means A equal to C. C equal to D means A equal to D. But then with this um, equation, so with this first one here, we have A equal to D as, a, as just a deduction. Now with this one, um, A different than E, E different than D, that means that A is different than D as well. <coughs> so with this equation, this means that A is different than D. So you can see these two are contradictory when we need to return false. So that's the, the main idea here. Um, and so we can not just like walk through the list and just check um, for examples like this one, because it may be like um, a series. And this should immediately make you think about component in a graph, right? Because component in a graph, um, if you have a graph, maybe like something like this, um, let's say A connected to B, connected to C. Um, then you have C connected to A, uh, or, or maybe, yeah, let's not, let's say we don't have C connected to A, right? Um, And then maybe we have something else, let's say E connected to F connected to G. All right, so with this here, this would be a component. Right, so this would be here. If we do even like union find, this would be a one component and this would be a separate one, right? And what do we not want to happen here? What we do not want to happen is that for once we do a component for the equals, we don't want to find that 
the diff- th- those the two elements of the inequality are in the same components because if they are that means there is a contradiction because a and c are in the same components that means they are equal with equality if we find that they are different here um they are in the same component but they are different that means they are both equal and unequal which means that we have a contradiction so all we need to do to solve this problem is the first step what we need to do is um basically we can use unifind. find you, you you can use dfs as well but create components uh from equality equations right and then in the second step we can just go through the go through inequality right and if any um any variable from equality um, are in the same components from inequality are in the same component that means we have a contradiction and we need to return for false uh, contradiction and we need to return false if there are if there isn't any contradiction which means there are no two um, portions of the inequality of any inequality um, equations that are in the same component that means there is no contradiction that means it's fine right and so that's what we are going to do here now what should we choose to create the components um, we can do DFS but we can also do union find because it would be easier um, with union find we can just check um, that the root of the component is different for both elements of the equation so let's say we have uh, x different than y right so we can just check with um, make sure that if find x is equal to find of y which means basically this will give us in union find it will give us the parent of the or the root of the component that y is in and this will give us the root of components of x root of components of x right so if ever we find that they are equal with the with the equation x different than y that means we already we, we did put them in the same components with equality so we need to return term false so we need to return false so if this ever happened, we need to return false. Um, and uh, um, with w when we are constructing the components, the way to create a component with union find, please go um, like and revisit union find if you don't if you are not sure here about wh what I'm talking about. But with union find, we just go through the equations right for equality. So here we will need to check check if it's equality because we don't want. So only if it's the equation is inequality that we will need to union the two parts of the so if x equal to y we need to union x and y so that we put them in the same components right and so we do union um, x and y and that way we put them in the same components and in our we, we need to keep a data structure for union find I'll do the complete solution but this rough th this is roughly the idea first um, take create components from the equal equality equations. Um, and then after that, go through the inequality equations and check if ever we find two, the two parts of the inequ uh, inequality <laughs> equations that are in the same components for equality, then we have a contradiction and that's a problem. Um, yeah, so let's go with this solution and make sure it passes test cases. Um, okay, so let's write down the implementation for this. Um, so what we need to do is we need to keep track of a data structure for the for the root of each component and so uh, of each node so this will mark uh, for each node in the equations it will mark what is the the root of the component it's in so that's what will allow us to find if two elements are in the same component and since we have only lowercase english letters we only need 26 slot because that's how many lowercase english letters there are and we will need to, for our union find, we'll need two operations. One is find and one is to union two elements. So for union, we need A and B. Um, and then we will need to go through the equality equations. And so to do that, what we will do is um, check if it's in, if the, the sign is inequality, we want to skip it because we want to process only equality. And so to do that, we can check the position. So remember, the format is A equal to B or A different than B. So we only need to check this character to know if it's equality or inequality. And so here, position is in the string. This is like this. So the position is actually one for, for this sign, for this sign here, equality or inequality. 
And so we, we can just check position one. If this is equal to equality, then that we, we, want, we want to check. And so we want to get the two sides of the equations, so the A here and the B here, so that we can union them, right? So we can mark them as in the same component because they are equal. And so to get A, position is zero, right? Um, and we want to convert it to... Um, we want to convert it to a, um, a, an index, right, so that we can obtain it here. So to do that, we just do um, minus, C just to get the index for it in parent. And we want to do the same thing for B. Um, so B position 0, 1, 2, 3, it's position 3. And we union these two. Uh, so we give them the position in the parent and we union them, right? Um, and now for the inequality, we just want to check if there are any that are not in th that are in the same components, then there is a problem, there is a contradiction. So again, we want to check if it's inequality, then that's what we want to process. So inequality means there is this character at position one. Um, and now we need to get both A and B, right? And so to do that, we get A and B like this. And we want to check if they are in the same components. So there, the root of the component is the same for both. That means there is a contradiction because they are equal and they are different. And so we want to return false. But if we continue and do not find such a thing, we want to return true. Okay. And now we only need to write our find and our union. So this is just application of, um, of uh, union find. So for union find, we want to check if the parent of if the root of the component x is in is different than x right we want to go all the way up to the root and the root its parent is itself and so while it's the parent is not the the parent or the root is not the node itself that means we haven't reached the root of the component yet and so we want to keep going up and so to go up we want to find the root for the 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 parent of x right and at the end we want to return that parent of x you could also just return x because that's the same thing at this point here. Um, okay, so, so that's for find. Now for union, we want to get the root of the component A is in. We want to get the root of the components B is in. And we want to check if they are... Um, we don't need to check actually. We can just make... We want to make them have the same um, uh, root, right? That's what union is. And so we just... Let's just assign whichever one we want. Maybe let's assign the parent or the root of U A is U B. U B is the parent of B. Basically, which you could also just do do it in reverse, like the parent of U B equal to U A. So that 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 also is the same thing. Um, union is basically means put them in the same components. So just pick the root of one of them and and put it as the root of the other, right? Um, and now let's run this. Um, okay, we need to do I here. So that actually, yeah, it's initially each node is the parent, is the root of itself. Each node is part of the com component that contains just itself, right? That makes sense. Um, okay, and let's submit. And that passes test cases. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for today's problem. Um, it's um, direct applications of union find um, or of connected component. Um, yeah, please like and subscribe and see you on the next one. Bye.